We are here in Boston at the Indoor Track and Field New Balance Championships. I am with Kenny Ikeji of Harvard University. He is the 2024 Indoor Weight Throw National Champion. Congratulations on your first weight throw championship. What has it been like coming from the UK as a hammer thrower and transitioning to the weight throw in the US? Oh uh, yeah, no, it's been good. Um, I found it really hard freshman year, um, but as time's gone on and I've gotten stronger and more used to it, um, it's been getting better and yeah. This year we started to really um, transition into being like a strong a strong weight thrower as well, which is exciting and you know exciting looking towards um, next outdoors as well. Absolutely, and we know the hammer and weight throws are both highly technical events. What are some of those challenges when you're transitioning from, you know, learning this sport through hammer and now having to pick up the weight, which is heavy and hard? What are some of those pain points that you've been able to master and win at the end of the day? Um, I just try and keep it as close to a hammer as possible and throw it like I'm throwing a hammer. Um, obviously, it requires a it requires a lot of more like strength in the body because it's just so heavy and like mm -hmm. if you throw it too much it like hurt your back and stuff like that but um yeah the goal like every year is just to get it as close to my hammer as possible and then in my head i'm like as long as i keep getting better in hammer which is the main event the weight should just keep getting better mm -hmm. were there any major differences you noticed when you were kind of growing up and throwing hammer in the uk and now coming over to the us is it bigger there is it more popular anything like that um I, yeah i think Generally, like, uh, U.S. sports culture, like, the energy is just so much higher. Like, oh, really? um, the competitions in the U.K. are sometimes a little bit more flat and, like, which is, like, fine. You know, you can focus on technique and execution. Sometimes in America, like, technique can go out the window and you're just like, hey, let's get some energy. And the crowd goes crazy and it works out. Um, and it brings some real excitement. Like, the crowd is going crazy and uh, for, for throws, which is, like, not so common in the U.K., um, so, you know, it's really fun and it, bring, it brings enjoyment to the people competing. Yeah, absolutely. And with so much energy in an arena like this, there's a lot of mental preparation, I'm sure, that goes into it. Does that type of energy here ever get to your head or do you have a, a mental kind of prep that goes into a big meet like this? Uh, yeah, no, I think that uh, mental preparation is probably the most important mm -hmm. uh, at a given point. You know, um, a lot of what I try and do is to practice like I compete, like uh, have that same, like, visualize like I'm in a competition every time I'm in practice um, so then when you're in the competition it's like I've done this before because it's just practice like I'm doing the going through the same mental routines uh, I try and keep everything as close to competition as possible like if you're going out like, in practice like go as if you're competing even you're in the weight room you're going as if you're competing like everything is just like you're pushing hard and giving it your all because and if you're not used to giving it your all and then you show up to a competition you know the lights are brighter you know it can get to your head but if you're just like every time you show up you give it your all you come to a competition you just you're doing what you usually do you know? yeah absolutely and i'm sure that mental prep will be key for you going into outdoor is there anything you're most excited for or working on focusing on going into hammer this season yeah you know i've been i've been th still throwing a lot of hammer during indoor season and the progress we're making is very exciting and it's so early. Um, I know that the competition is really stacked this year, which excites me. Um, there's some really strong returners and some really strong um, new people that are joining NCAA Hammer Throwing this year. So it's going to be stacked and, you know, nothing nothing is given. And I'm going like, to put in the work and uh, live with the results, you know? Yeah, well, best of luck. Thank you so much, Kenny. Thank you very much.